I should go to where the bombs are. I agree. Okay, I think I'm gonna go to GTG, GTG, Gruta Valley area. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't be putting off Gruta Fortress because it might have something good even without a Pona. So maybe I should just go anyway. Convinced sticks are the only item in this seed. It sure feels like that. Wait. Oh, I thought that. I thought the sound was the uh, nighttime and not Navi. Interesting song for Thieves Hideout. Dude. Should've just done the torch strat. Really? Two of them had a highland shield? That's weird. I'm not gonna be able to save the fourth carpenter. I'm just gonna have to fight the other one and just get my item and leave. Dude, how is it that the first, like, half hour or hour of the seed, I actually got a lot of really good stuff? And then I just stopped getting anything. I feel like I haven't gotten anything in such a long time. Like, it really looked like a baby seed early on. It looked like a baby seed, and then as soon as I found out Hover Boots for Ocarina of Time, it just all downhill from there. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be expecting anything good from something like this. If only I can save him without a key. Uh, I guess GTG. I always forget the strat. This isn't a hard strat, but some for some reason I always forget which way it is. I think I had it right the first time and I didn't trust it. Yeah, okay. Alright, only two keys and basically no weird shots, so I'm not sure how much I'm gonna go do in here, but I can probably do some. I can do toilet room. Okay. Finally an ocarina. I'm pretty sure I can at least do toilet room. Which is weird. I'm not gonna be able to do a lot, but Toilet Room is one of them. Yeah, I'll check Epona now. Forest boss key. Alright, that means the boss key in DC actually is Fire Temple, which actually means that I might want to just get it. Because, uh, if nothing else in Fire Temple is needed, then it actually means that I can just skip the rest of Fire easily without, without hassle, at least. Hey, I can save the guy now. Okay, there is technically a strat to get to climb the silver block there with hammer, with a hammer slide. I do not know how this works. I can try though. That actually was surprisingly close. I should do this with Bird Cam, I think. Oh, I didn't I didn't think I got it. I really should not be trying this, but I want to. That room is so good. That was actually decently close. I think I can get this. I hate that I'm so close, because I feel like I shouldn't be doing this, but being close is going to make me want to do it more. If I was just super far off, I'd just give up, but now, now I can't. Dude, why don't I use the hover strat? I have one single bomb chew, which is less than enough. I can't give up at this point, dude. Oh, well, I got it anyway. Okay. No, I wanted to cross so. Okay, I'll make sure to learn the real strat for that. Oh my god. I can't kill them. They're impossible without shields. There's gonna be nothing in here, isn't there? And I can't get out of here either. Okay, and I still want to go this direction. 
because uh, there's still a few more checks I can get over here. Dude, I swear bombs or wallet must be like some really easy check that I just forgot somehow. It's in a fairy fountain. Well, I only I only got Zelda's little live very recently, so I only could have gotten it, could have checked it very recently. You know what? What's even the point of Scarecrow Song? This is just faster. Oh, that... Remember that double magic in the graveyard that I saw? That was fake. Okay, it looks like this was not worth... Or wait, I guess... Okay, I guess that makes it worth... I was literally about to reset, but I mean, I, I guess I have toilet room still to do. But yeah. So that means I come out with net positive chews at least. Come on. This is supposed to be the easy rupee. I'll go all the way around. Yeah, this is the toilet room. Okay, so I am gonna save scum again, but this time for the key. So, this is the key I'm save scumming for. Okay. I should do it over here to avoid that. Chewy shots are so stupid. Yeah, I should be able to get Boomerang now. Okay, well, this is why I saved. Alright, never mind. I'm not I'm not getting the other GTG stuff. I could get Boomerang now, but I don't think I should. I think I should go to Spirit first. Just because I'm already here. Let me just do some basic stuff in Spirit, and then I'll set Furrow's Win there. And Rando has a thing where when you set Furrow's Win as adult, it doesn't actually go, go away when you go back in time. So that way I can set Furrow's Win and... Be able to warp back to it later. Oh yeah, I can get a Gerudo card now. A Gerudo card check. I know where Boomerang is, I just wasn't able to get it, but now I should be able to get it. Since I have enough shoes. Yeah, I still don't have Mirror Shield. Really? Um, update tracker? Wait, what do I have to update on the tracker? Oh, Skulls. I don't even know how many I have. Something like that. Long back walk. More rupees. Can't see. I think I've gone to the point where Wasteland Hess is actually easier for me than Wasteland Normal because I can't see. Where am I? Uh, okay, I kind of do want that. I'm just gonna kill the Skulltula first before it turns day and I can see him walk up there. That's potentially, or no, I already know. I already got a hint that Big Orion crafts. Something not good. What am I even doing in here? I guess I have to do a hover boots block skip. I shouldn't have done that before I got the rupees. I really shouldn't have done that. There we go. Alright, I'll check a few more things in spirit, but I'm gonna leave pretty quickly so I can go get my bomb bag. Yeah, bomb bag is 210, but there's another wallet that was like 170 or something. So I have to go buy that one wallet and then I can go buy the bomb bag. But I have a direct path to the bomb bag now. Imagine spending your entire wallet on a wallet, yeah. Okay, I forgot if the wallet was in Child Bazaar or Adult uh, or Adult Kakariko Shop, so I'm just gonna go to the Adult Kakariko Shops to check. I think it was Adult Shop that had Wallet and then Child Shop that had Bomb Bag? It was the Bomb Chew Shop that had Bomb Bag, right? Yeah, I think Bomb Chew Guy had Bomb Bag. And then Wallet was Adult. No. Having no bombs for four hours really does something to my mental state. It does, dude. How am I supposed to play this game without bombs? It's like playing Mario without jumping. Man. 
It's always cool when Cow and House has a good reward. Not this time, though. Winner. Oh, dude, I get to use the never used strat. The never used Scarecrow strat. Uh. Ignore that. Okay, now I need my wallet and my bomb bag. Yeah, my wallet, my bomb bag, then boomerang, then I can go beat Jabu, and then it's just search for mirror shield. No idea where mirror shield could be. Okay, now the wall's in here. Thank you. Yeah, there's my bomb bag. How much? 10. Okay. I can't believe this was my first bomb bag. When I saw the bomb bag in the shop and that it, I would re it would require two wallets, my initial thought was, this is probably not the first bomb bag in Logic. There's probably another bomb bag I'll find. But no. It's my bomb bag. I mean, yeah, maybe it's not my first bomb bag in Logic, but that is nice. It. There could be another bomb bag in Logic, but I feel like I checked all the, like, early game places. I feel like I didn't... Well, I guess I never went to Zora's Fountain. I wonder if Zora's Fountain had something interesting. Thank you. Oh, that's also... good-ish, I guess? I mean, it's not the most useful thing in the world, but I could make use of it. Yeah, I haven't- I, I have had access to fairy fountains for a while, I guess, but I've also kind of been away from fairy fountains. Oh, I guess speaking of fairy fountains, uh, Dins. I should go get Dins. Yeah, I gotta start doing all my fairy fountains. Sun Song, that's decent. It would have been nicer a while ago, but at least, it, at least I have it. Okay, so now I go get Boomerang. Shut up. There's runner guy. I am going to try to make this easy on myself. And also show off a cool thing. Okay. Alright, hopefully this is a nice easy hover. Like I think it should be. No, dude. I think the timing is weird as child. Okay. Okay, I get it though. I have to delay it a lot. Yeah, MM style hovering using quick put away. There we go. Finally. Okay, I feel like I might as well go to Jabu. Yeah, I have no reason I might go to Jabu right now. Uh, <laughs> that's new. Okay, I have found a new way to enter the silver, uh, silver rock grotto without silver gauntlets. I, I mean, thinking about it, that makes sense, actually. Okay, what happened there? For a loading zone to activate, you need to be uh, moving downwards and above it. And sometimes that can even override like if something is above a loading zone. So I guess what happened there is I was above the grotto moving downwards. And even though the silver rock was above it, it didn't count. And so I was still able to clip inside. So that actually is kind of good to know for future randos, specifically entrance randos. But that's very interesting.